Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Guilt Free Gaming 12 Pocket Zippered Binder. Last time we looked at the Ultra Pro Pikachu 12 Pocket Zippered Binder. If you want to take a look at that video, you can check the eye icon up there or down in the description. And without further ado, let's take a closer look. So the first thing we may notice is that the material for the outside of the binder is very different from the Ultra Pro that we saw last time. Whereas the Ultra Pro is a soft padded leatherette, this one is uh, a more kind of rough textured cover. The description from Built Free Gaming themselves says this is a Komodo armor cover, uh, which is a very common type of cover material used in a lot of these type of binders. Now, one major advantage of this so quote unquote Komodo armor is that it is very sturdy it is quite grippy because the material for this binder is more textured than the ultra pro one major advantage is that it actually has a much better grip so it is less likely to slip out of your hands when you're handling the binder than the, say the ultra pro one downside to that however is that in my personal opinion the ultra pro's padded leatherette feels much better in the hand while this is more grippy, it doesn't feel as luxurious as the Ultra Pros. So on the cover, it's actually quite barren with only just the Guilt Free Gaming logo on the front. It is not very big, thankfully, and in my personal opinion, the logo doesn't look that bad, so I don't mind having just their company logo on the front. On the back, we also have the other Guilt Free Gaming logo in the middle, once again, it's not very big, it's not very intrusive, I don't mind it. Now, just like the Ultra Pro Pikachu binder, this is also a zipper binder. As we can see, the zipper once again has a logo, the quality on the tag itself, just by looking at it, uh, clearly not as great. Alright, let's open this and take a look inside. Alright, now that it's open, we can see the back cover of this binder is kind of a suede-like material. Feels quite nice, actually. And one major advantage I would say this has over the Ultra Pro is that while both binders are very hard cover, which is great for protecting your cards, I actually think this one is more hard and actually gives less flex than the Ultra Pro. Then looking at the pages themselves, once again, they are a 12 pocket formation. My understanding is that they also offer these in a 9 pocket as well as a 4 pocket. With this 12 pocket version, it can hold 480 cards, sleeved, double sleeved, with 20 pages overall with 12 cards on each side. The pockets themselves seem okay, they seem relatively clear and quite nice material. The pages themselves seem to be made of pretty good quality. And once again, I bought a 12 pocket binder similar to the Ultra Pro Pikachu binder. Now the reason why I bought a 12 pocket binder is that a major advantage for having a 12 pocket binder over a 9 pocket or even a 4 pocket. So with a 12 pocket binder which is a 4x3, you can actually display full play sets of cards per row. With a 9 pocket binder, you will not be able to display your play sets of four cards as cleanly as you would with a 12 pocket binder. Finally, this binder I found on Amazon, it actually has many different types of colors available. The reason why I chose this kind of navy blue is because I'm planning to use this binder for my One Piece trading card game collection. So I thought that this color would be absolutely perfect for that game. And yeah, overall, I think I really like this binder. Once again, while I don't really like that the cover is not as nice of a feel as the Ultra Pro, I do like that it is even more sturdy than the Ultra Pro. And I do love that it is the 
perfect color for my One Piece card collection. So there you have it, just a quick look at this guilt-free gaming 12 pocket zippered binder. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider giving it a like. I have a lot of One Piece card opening videos planned, so if you are looking forward to that, please consider subscribing. But until my next video, I'll see you all later. Bye!